a city of gold. A city of 8 million people and 6 million trees. A modern and vibrant city combining rich culture with diverse style. A city that has learned from its past and proud to share its future with the world. This is the home of Miss World 2008. This is Johannesburg. Sanford Convention Center in Johannesburg, South Africa. This is Miss World 2008. One hundred and nine countries arrived in Johannesburg at the start of the one-month Miss World Festival. They were welcomed at a gala dinner at the Sant and Sun, the home of Miss World 2008. They are families and Miss World organization. The Joburg experience started at the Apartheid Museum, learning about the tragedies of the past while still finding time to enjoy some street entertainment. Their next stop was the Nelson Mandela Bridge, where they crossed in union as a symbol of world unity. Photographs at the Mandela Square were followed by a visit to the union buildings in Pretoria and a welcome by the government. Official duties completed, it was time to find out why Joburg is the city of gold. Then off to Lily's Leaf, the farm where Nelson Mandela and banned ANC members hatched plans to overthrow the apartheid government. Having followed the struggle route, the ladies completed their tour with a visit to the world-famous Joburg Zoo to enjoy the wildlife, albeit at a safe distance. And so the sun sets on yet another magic day in Joburg. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. After some dazzling entertainment, we're going to get down to business now. Now, all our contestants have had the opportunity to take part in a series of five events. And those were top model, beach beauty, world talent, sportswoman, and beauty with a purpose. Now the events are called Fast Track because each of the winners is fast tracked into the semi finals. Now, the five events have all taken place during the one month Miss World Festival. The first event is World's Top Model, which was part of a historic fashion show put on by African Fashion International in Clip Town. The World Top Model Fast Track was held at the historic Walter Sisulu Square in Soweto thanks to the generous support of the Department of Arts and Culture. The contestants wore African fashion garments specially designed for them by top South African designers and crafters. The fashion sparkled under the lights of the catwalk.
the judges had a tough time choosing their top 10 models. The honours went to third place India, second place Angola, and our top model title went to a very happy Miss Russia, who now appears in the Miss World semi-final. Congratulations to Russia on reaching our semi-finals. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I can see why she's come this far, because she sure can strut. I wonder if Miss Russia will emulate Zeling Zhang's success last year when she went from winner of top model to becoming the 57th Miss World. Well, we're surely going to find that out in the next 90 minutes, Tamisho. Our host, Johannesburg Tourist Company, next took us to Mthanga to one of the magnificent coastal resorts. Here, our contestants swap their evening gowns for designer African beachwear. The Miss World Beach Beauty. The Fast Track Beach Beauty event was held at Umschlanga in the Southern Sun Beverly Hills Hotel with the magnificent Indian Ocean as its backdrop. Three of South Africa's top designers, under the umbrella of African Fashion International, dressed our 25 semi-finalists in African beach fashion. The judges' task was not easy, but they couldn't have a more beautiful setting to make their decision. Miss World Zilin Zhang presented the awards. Third place, Russia. Second place, South Africa and Miss World Beach Beauty 2008. Fast track to the Miss World semi-final was Mexico. Well done Mexico on joining Russia in the semi-finals. Excellent job. To me, show if they were not so nervous, they'd probably do something like that, huh? Yeah, All right. Shake your shoulders a little. <laughs> All right, our next fast track event, Miss World Talent, has always been a favorite with the contestants, helping launch the careers of many of its winners. Let's see who took the title this year to become our third semi finalist. Soweto Street performers Dora's Kids opened the evening. But it was our Miss World contestants who took center stage at the Miss World Talent Final. Thank you. 
With so much variety, it was a difficult decision. Second runner-up, Ukraine. First runner-up, Austria. And the Miss World talent winner, singing her way to the semi-final is... Barbados. That's right, she's a beauty with a stunning voice. Congratulations to Barbados. Yeah. Well, there you have it. She was singing a Barbara Streisand classic in a Caribbean style. You hear me now? <laughs> there you go. Don't rain on her parade. The Miss World Festival promotes a healthy lifestyle, and our next event is a great example of that. Miss World Sportswoman. This event requires a mixture of skill, speed, strength, and endurance. It took place at the magnificent Miller's Drift Sports Training Center. Skill, strength, speed, and stamina are the essential qualities a contestant will need to be fast-tracked to the semi-finals by winning our World Sportswomen event. And I can feel it in my stomach. <laughs> this was just the break the contestants needed as they took on our Miss World Heptathlon at Glenburn Lodge. As part of our team event, boat building was all in a day's work. And nothing seemed to face them. Two for each team in a boat, raise on. Soccer is a national pastime in South Africa and former South African soccer star Mark Batchelor took the contestants through their paces in the deciding penalty shootout. Miss World 2008 Sportswoman is Iceland. Even Mark was beaten by the clinical finishing of our new Miss World Sportswoman, Iceland, who shoots her way into the Miss World semi-final. Iceland is strong, fast and fit, and she's never missed the penalty. You know what? With that kind of composure in front of goals, I think she should be signed up by Bafana Bafana. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. Sundowns could sign her up. They have the checkbook. He just wants to keep her in South Africa, I know. <laughs> but more importantly, she is now a Miss World semi-finalist. Now our final fast track event is a big one. It's beauty with a purpose. Each contestant has made a presentation to the judges of the work they're doing in their country to support the ideal of beauty with a purpose. The winner of this event is an exceptional woman who in the eyes of the judges has done extraordinary work to support those in need. Well, from all the beauty with a purpose presentations, just four finalists were announced at the Miss World Charity Gala, which is held each year to raise funds for local charities. Let's take a look back at that evening. It's a very important time because tonight, for all contestants, we are announcing four countries that we have selected to go through 
I'm not going to show you 109. I could easily do that, but we'd be sitting here until next week. So what I've done is just show you tonight four. Hong Kong is mentioned because they each year have a club and all the girls that have been Miss Hong Kongs since the early 80s have gathered together in Hong Kong and they have big special projects and they fundraise. Ladies and gentlemen, last year I recognized them because they raised over those years 383 million US dollars. And now this year, the total has gone up to 452 million US dollars. And the four finalists are... This concert is very important to me because uh, these handicapped people are trying to collect uh, money and to donate to the orphans of Transylvania. So I think that uh, this whole occasion is very exceptional. I chose to undertake a project that deals with children, the youth and education. I believe that education is very important 